how to use the eyedropper fill in Rectify Audio in Premiere Pro. What's going on everybody? I'm here with another awesome tutorial. What I'm going to share with you is a few things on how we can utilize clip that we see right now and use that as a custom LUT as opposed to downloading some off the internet or you've traded for some or even created your own in Photoshop or even Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how easy it is right now. First, all you have to do is load in your footage and bring it in. I will click and drag it on this sheet of paper down here and it will already create the sequence settings for us. So go ahead, bring your footage in. Then I will hold down Alt and just click and drag it above the previous clip. Make sure that one is highlighted. We'll go over to effects and fill under the generate folder, click and drag that onto your second clip. Now it just did an average color of the particular clip for us. If you actually take the clip and just scrub through it, you see that the color is constantly changing, right? That's actually the clip above the previous one, right? So all you will have to do is select a wonderful blend mode. You can hit screen, right? Now the color may be a little too strong. Let's bring it down with the opacity. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. And give it about 25%. And if you play that, look what goes on. It's changing but you might not want those drastic changes on the entire clip, right? There's a workaround with that. All you will have to do is highlight the best color sequence of that video. And then what you do is next is create a slice point. My, my shortcut is Z, so I can make that cut. I would delete it. And then I would just make duplicate copies of the same clip over and over and over again. So if I just did three for this example here, right? I'm not trying to be perfect on it right now. I will highlight those and then nest it. And then once I nest it, I will just create custom LUT nest. Hit that. It's gonna reset our settings. Just click on it, start it over. Go back to your blend mode and hit screen. And then just turn down the opacity. But what's really cool about this is even though you turn it down, I highly suggest that you should keyframe it. That's what this, this little icon here is for. For you to keyframe your, your intensity of the LUT that you just created, right? So that's pretty much it on creating a custom LUT by using existing footage by duplicating it in Premiere Pro. That's the first one, right? Now I'm gonna reiterate something about the audio, right? I notice a lot of you guys and ladies, video editors out there. Well, actually, let me just click the nest. We don't even need this nest anymore. So we'll get rid of that. I've noticed when I see audio, I see audio like this. Ugh. That's just my cup of tea. And some people say that's how audio should look for video editing. Uh-uh. Audio is audio, no matter how you look at it. If you go to the drop down menu right next to your sequence, the naming of your sequence, you have something called rectify audio waveforms. Uncheck that, and then there you go. You have the original waveform, how audio is supposed to look. The stereo field, the left side and the right side, right? And that's how you quickly change audio. Um, Let's see, what else I wanna say? I'm gonna end it here.